Welcome eighth graders to our course selection presentation. Today we're going to show you the BHS Student Services team, an overview of the BHS course selection process and timeline, how you can maintain a healthy balance and make an informed course selection decision, and how to select courses on Infinite Campus. Here's our BHS principal and assistant principals. And here's the BHS counseling staff. Counselor role, how do we work together? This is a student-focused relationship that will cover your four years in high school. You're gonna stay with your counselor for four years and we really value that relationship we can develop with our students. We handle academic planning, your post high school planning. We are a student advocate. We really wanna to help to encourage you to have a healthy balance so you can enjoy your high school experience. And again, this is a four year relationship. For the course selection timeline, the course request portal is open on Infinite Campus from Tuesday, December 5th through Monday, December 18th at 11.59 p.m. High school counselors will be visiting the middle schools to review course request, the process, and answer any student questions at Prairie on December 13th and at Station on December 15th. And if you do have any questions, please contact your 8th grade counselor by January 19th with any of those questions. And on January 31st, 8th graders will visit BHS to meet the student services team and learn about freshman year. One middle school will visit in the morning and one will visit in the afternoon. Maintaining a healthy balance and making informed course selections. We really want you to think about your overall day and everything you have going on when you select your classes. The most important thing is that you're appropriately challenged while being highly successful. Most students have five courses, PE, a lunch, and then one open hour or an elective to complete their eight period day. It is important to prioritize your personal wellness to maximize your academic success. When we look at taking an AP or honors class versus a regular class, again, students should be appropriately challenged but not overwhelmed. Remember that healthy balance, that is key. We wanna make sure you can be highly successful in your classes but also in everything you're doing outside of your classes. In any athletics, or sports, activities, clubs, your job. We want you to have a great high school experience. Here's the BHS graduation requirements, four years of English, three years of math, two years of science, two years of social studies, including civics or US history, seven semesters of PE, one year of an elective, one consumer ed class, a health class, and driver's ed. And students need a total of 20.5 credits to graduate from BHS. And students must take a minimum of six classes to be a full-time student. So freshman year course options. Here's a sample schedule. And again, we want you to really tailor this to what you want to do in high school. We have a lot of different options. We want you to think about what do you want for your post-high school plans and how can we get there? So here are some potential options with an English, math, world language, science, social studies, a lunch, an open, an elective, and then the PE class. This presentation will be linked in the email you're sent, so you can click on these links and access all these resources. Here's another sample schedule, just so you can get some idea of what you may want to do. Schedule options. Remember, freshmen typically take five or six courses and one lunch and a PE. An open hour is recommended to maintain balance. Every freshman does have to take English and PE, and most will take a math, science, and social studies, and possibly a world language. If you're considering attending a four-year college, we do recommend you take English, math, science, social studies, and then potentially that world language your freshman year. How does course placement work? Course placement is based on the student academic performance, test scores, and then eighth grade teacher and high school department chair review depending on the subject area. This is collaboration between the middle school and high school to ensure the best possible student placement. Any questions regarding your course placement should first be directed to your middle school teacher. Here's the freshman year core course options for English, science, math, and social studies, and then we'll go through each subject in the upcoming slides. And the course guide has all of the classes and all of this information. And again, you can click this link in the PDF of the PowerPoint that's in the email you, you were sent. For social studies, 
Here's the options, AP Human Geography, AP World, and Global Studies. Again, remember your overall healthy balance when you're looking at this course selection, but those are the three options for freshmen. English course options, Freshman English College Prep and Freshman English Honors, those are the two options. Math, you will be scheduled based on your current course placement and teacher recommendation. And here is the flow chart so you can see where you're headed over your four years in high school. The science department flow chart is linked here and students will take biology and then extended students, some extended students may take chemistry honors. So there are specific biology classes you're able to choose, the biosustainability, variants in medical, world wildlife, and biology detectives. Please choose a first and second choice for each semester. And here is a breakdown of each of those courses that you can view. And again, this is included in the PDF of the PowerPoint in the email, so you can look at it more closely. For second semester, you will also make a choice for a specific biology class, save endangered species, disease hunters, and the tree of life. Please choose a first and second choice for each semester. And here again are these courses. And you can review this at, at your leisure to look at which option you want to select. PE, all freshman students take physical education. When looking at an open versus an elective, when deciding on that, ask these questions. What do you need to be and do to be successful as you transition to high school? Do you have a busy schedule outside of school? Does your student need a break in their day? Is there a specific area they would like to explore? This is an individual student choice with no wrong decision. Just remember that enrollment in electives is based on student seniority and demand. Will your student get their first choice elective? Students are placed in electives based on seniority. So seniors get first choice, then juniors, then sophomores, and then freshmen. Some classes may be filled by the time freshmen are placed in their electives. Because of this, we do ask that freshmen list two or three elective options in the registration survey on Infinite Campus. We do try our best to schedule students for their top choice electives. In world language, you can continue with your world language or you can start a new language. But please note, when starting a new language, level one classes are based on enrollment. And while beneficial for college admissions, world language is not a graduation requirement. We have many outstanding Finding Applied Arts classes. Please use these resources in the PDF and on our website to learn more about the options. And of course, course descriptions can be found in the BHS course guide. Here's the career and technical education booklet to learn more about our career pathways. So the course request survey. In Infinite Campus, click Message Center, click Surveys, click Next, and then you're able to go through the survey here. There's also a video of this survey in the email you were sent that walks you through it. And again, you can see the, the questions here about the social studies course a student is selecting, an English course, and so on. There'll also be questions about world language, and you can see that here. And then you'll have some additional questions that will be asked, and then we'll get some elective options as well, where we do ask that you give us two or three elective options. So in case you don't get your first choice, you can get your second or your third choice. And here you can see a student can select their second choice for their first semester elective. And we have a section for special notes to the high school counselor. We do ask that you submit your course preferences no later than Monday, December 18th. We thank you for your time, and we look forward to having you at BHS next year.